Are you looking for an Aftershocks Air Bone Conduction Headphones tutorial? Well, in this video, I'll discuss how to get the most out of your Aftershocks headphones. Coming up! Hi, I'm Dr. Derek, audiologist with ProfitHearing.com, bringing you the best insight in today's latest hearing aids and audio technology to improve your life. If you have concerns about your hearing, always consult with your local physician or audiologist. Also, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon for notifications if you enjoy this video. Today I'll guide you through the Aftershocks Air tutorial so that you can understand how to use your bone conduction headphones. I'll also leave a link to the Aftershocks Air review at the end of this video, so make sure to check that out for more details. So instead of sitting inside, on, or around your ears, this part here sits in front of the ears against the bone. The sound is transmitted through the skull via bone conduction. Here in the left hand side we have the multifunction button. One click will play or pause your music and a double click will skip the song. One click will also answer or end a phone call. On the right side of these headphones, we have the microphones for the phone call. There's a microphone here on the front. There's also underneath, there's another microphone right here. But these two microphones work together to cancel out the noise around you so that the person listening to you on the other end can hear you more clearly. We also have the LED indicator for battery level, Bluetooth pairing, or incoming call. So as it is right now, it's currently looking for my Bluetooth device. Flashing red every two minutes means low battery. It will change from red to blue when it's fully charged. It also flashes red and blue when it's pairing, or flashes blue once it's connected. A blue flashing means incoming call. Right next to the LED indicator is the charging port for your USB cable, power button, and volume control. To turn the headphones on, you press and hold the middle button, which is also the volume control. But you press and hold for about three seconds and it'll turn the device on or off. If you want to change your volume, you just quickly press the up or down button. So right here on the bottom is a micro USB charging port. You just lift this small flap here and you can plug your charging cable inside. So here's what it looks like with the micro USB charging cable plugged in. You can mute yourself on the phone call by pressing and holding both the volume buttons for two seconds. You can change the sound equalization or EQ setting by pressing and holding both volume buttons for three seconds when listening to music. Clicking any volume button while the music is paused will also activate a voice prompt telling you the battery charge level. To pair the headphones, start with them off. Then press and hold the volume up button until you hear pairing. So I press and hold this button right here in the middle, the power button, also known as the volume up button. And then I'll hear the headphones say pairing. The LED light flashes red and blue. So as you can see, the red and blue flashing here. So now the headphones are looking for your Bluetooth wireless device. You can open up the Bluetooth menu on your device and select the Aftershocks earphones. You will hear connected and then the LED light will flash blue once. You can connect the headphones to two devices at once. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please check out the suggested video above to see the Aftershocks Air unboxing, feature description, and review. So for today's question, have you tried the Aftershocks Air wireless bone conduction headphones? If so, how do you like them? What other product reviews do you want to see? Let's connect in the comments. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you receive value from this video, please like it, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. And remember to check out the notes in the description below for more information and to connect with Profit Hearing on social media. Be a part of the Profit Hearing community. If you're interested in hearing aids, click on the link in the description below for my free ebook, How to Buy Hearing Aids. Know what to ask your audiologist or hearing aid dispenser so that your hearing aids are easy to use and have all the features you're looking for. Remember, ProFit Hearing brings you the best insight in today's latest hearing aids and audio technology to improve your life. If you have concerns about your hearing, always consult with your local physician or audiologist. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.